Ni hao ma, she she. A few of the phrases that I uh, didn't say for quite a few years that I haven't played in China. Stand by for lift off. It's a big one on the calendar. It's the pinnacle of the Asian swing. Wu Ai Ni, China. The Rolex Shanghai Masters. Excitement building here inside the Kingdom. After quite a few years of absence of the ATP Tour tournaments on the Chinese grounds, we're very happy to receive great news that we're going to have the tournaments on the Chinese soils. The last time I, I went to China, I won Beijing, so it's obviously good memories. I've had some great memories there, I've played very well there, so uh, I'm looking forward to coming back for sure. I think there in, uh, in Shanghai actually was the first time I hit my jump backhand on the tour and uh, I did twice in one point and the crowd was going crazy. It's been a while since we all have been in China. I think I always have very fond memories there from, I think, embracing the culture a little bit. You know, we all enjoy it and I think we miss all, all of our fans out there. Well, I've uh, never been in China before. I uh, really excited to, to play over there in front of the China crowd. I, I hear that this uh, really beautiful place to, to play and uh, yeah, I'm really excited to, to play there. First of all, looking forward to seeing the fans. I think the fans are always super energetic there. Chinese fans, uh, like, they're gonna be crazy this year because they they haven't seen all the matches uh, for years. They all really appreciate tennis. Even the practices are super packed. They really follow the players and uh, really know everyone. So I think that's uh, that's always a nice feeling. I would describe the China fans as very enthusiastic. They show great respect to every single player that uh, plays there. They're always very vocal. They always give you a lot of gifts and, and treat you very well at the tournament. I think they're very passionate about the, uh, I mean, about the sport and, and sent down so very, very respectful. I think every time we get there, they treat us amazing. And I think the support is uh, also very fair for whoever is playing. It would be like uh, amazing, you know, everyone cheering, uh, I hope my name. I'll try to, you know, make uh, them happy watching my, my matches and uh, enjoying every every single thing of, uh, of my match. Just their passion, their enthusiasm, uh, love for the game, love for their tennis players and they're one of the most loyal tennis fans we have in the world. Every single day they come out in front of the hotel giving you presents. Uh, you always need to prepare an extra suitcase for all the presents to come back home with. So. I'm very, very thankful for their love and support. We've seen uh, a small rise recently um, in uh, Chinese uh, men's tennis. Two of them are top 100 now already. Wu and Sang, they did it. They have a great year. They broke into top 100 and soon probably also top 50. Chinese players that have done well in big events is going to push for sure younger generations and players to um, pick up a tennis racket and go out there and, and play some tennis. I think it's always great uh, whenever you have two, three players kind of in the same ranking as we did in Canada with me and Felix you know you tend to push off each other's results and, and success so with that there's always a lot of movement and it's already a big big tennis nation it seems like with all the fans that are so into tennis so for sure I can see a, a big push in, in the next coming years. Those players are, are on the come up I think it, the rest it depends only on them and they've played a very good matches already uh, beat uh, they've beaten quite a few good players, so um, you know the stars are bright for them right now. I think we're the future right now, and I uh, hopefully the next generation can look up for us because we have uh, Lina. She's very successful in uh, Grand Slams, and uh, hopefully we can do the same in men's side, which uh, can inspire more boys to play tennis. They're definitely coming in full force, so the rest of the tour should watch out. I'm really excited to, to see the biggest gym of the tour in China. It's obviously always important to, to have a lot of space and to, to have good equipment. Dining room is uh, spectacular always. Probably the biggest buffet you'll ever see. It's always something I think the players look forward to and uh, yeah, it's, it's definitely somewhere where I like to spend a lot of time. Yeah, the dining room in Shanghai I think is one of the best. Like you can eat the food from uh, any kind of different like countries you, you have uh, basically everything you need, I think. Wu Ai Ni, China. I'm hoping that was I love you, China. Ni hao ma, xie xie. You will need to know ni hao, that means uh, hello. Ni hao. Ni hao ma, ni hao. And uh, you need to know xie xie, that's thank you.